everyone and welcome back to another video um excuse the face excuse the hair i'm trying not to use as much heat on my hair so i've blow dried it straight but my hair doesn't like being blow dry straight it doesn't stay straight so yeah we're just gonna ignore that and i'm trying this thing where i don't wear makeup as well why do i always go into that stupid american accent um yeah i'm trying this thing where i don't actually wear makeup for a bit because i have such a spotty face that yeah i'm over it so first of all i just want to say happy new year um it's 2020 which is absolutely crazy i can't believe how fast like 2019 has gone it only feels like the other day that i was it was like new year it's so weird apologies if you can hear my neighbor's dog barking so i thought i'd do a new year's tag um just because i can and i wanted to so yeah um i hope everybody has an amazing 2020 and yeah let's get into the new year's tag so i basically just googled these questions um and it's from kat Bolska. I think it's like a blog channel, um, not like channel, like a blogging website and she's put some questions down for last year's one, um, so I'm just going to answer them for this year's. So yeah, so the first question is, if you could look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? I probably think like all like the adventures that I've been on so probably hmm it probably have to be tour Covid tour and all the adventures I've been with my sister it says one though doesn't it I'd probably say tour Covid tour that was such a good experience and I absolutely loved it so Covid tour yeah number two is what was one new year's resolution that you accomplished my one year my one my one new year's resolution that i've actually accomplished is paying off my car so my car is officially my little baby now and yeah it's all mine i paid for it and i'm so happy with that like super happy that it's mine now number three is three words to describe last year Ooh, probably fun adventurous and i want to say travel but does that make sense because i traveled quite a lot last year yeah we'll just go with them for even now i don't know if that's like a good enough word but yeah they're three number four is new music that you discovered this year and i would probably say calvin jones he's like his own like singer songwriter he yeah he's just absolutely amazing and obviously i met him through Covid, so that is like really really good and yeah calvin jones he's absolutely amazing and that is one new artist that i discovered last year number five is something you look forward to this coming year lots and lots and lots of adventures with my sister like i just love traveling so that is something that i'm looking forward to Number six is, what did last year teach you? Ooh. To have fun. I don't know, like, last year was the, mo the most I've actually, like, travelled. I would probably say in a year. So it's taught me to just go out and see the country and see the world, basically. And I just want to travel. I Basically, I've got the travel book and I just want to travel a lot. <laughs> I got the travel bug. Number seven is what was your most worn clothing item of last year? That has got to be ripped jeans. I am obsessed with rich ripped jeans. It's literally just like my go-to style now. So ripped jeans is probably the one for that. Number eight is if you had to sum up your year in one word, what would it be? Adventurous because I went on adventures quite a lot. So adventurous is probably like the perfect word to describe last year and hopefully it'll describe this year as well 
number nine is what are you hoping for more of this coming year and again it's tying in with the last question because i want to go on more like adventures and traveling so that is what i'd want more of this year because it's amazing and i love it and uh, the travel book like i've already mentioned <laughs> number 10 is what are you hoping for less of this year i don't know i think i had a pretty good year so i wouldn't want anything less i don't think number 11 is best book you read last year i don't read so yeah don't have one and number 12 which is the last question is what is your new year's resolution for the upcoming year um i'd probably say to travel a lot more to save a lot more which i've already just started and yeah i probably stop spending as much as i do but i don't think that's ever gonna stop and i do want to like make more of an effort as well so like i hardly ever wear makeup or anything even for work like i don't even really do anything and yeah so i'd like to learn a little bit more makeup and also i want to be able to grow my hair <laughs> new year's revolution growing my hair um and then when it gets to like here or something diet but yeah that's all i can think of and they're not really like i haven't really got any good ones because like i just kind of go with the flow now like yeah just what happens happens kind of thing um and i would like to obviously go on more adventures that's like my main one so that is it happy new year everybody i hope 2020 is a good one for you and yeah that's all I gotta say. I don't actually know what else to say. Um, but yeah, peace out. Have a good 2020. Happy New Year. And yeah, see you in my next video. Bye.